Hello, in this week's video we're looking at PlayPosit. It's another video tool which allows you to add interactivity to your videos. So, as I've mentioned before, um, video is a very powerful tool for educating our students, but the days of just giving them a video to watch isn't good enough. They're now, in today's world, bombarded by lots of different sources at the same time. So we need to add some sort of interactivity and that's where PlayPosit comes in. It allows us to add a video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, they're called bulbs. So we're gonna design a video bulb. We're gonna paste in the URL. So you can see the sources below that are available. I'm gonna use one from YouTube. And then continue. I can title my lesson. I can choose levels, categories, and subtopics. And I can allow it to rewind during questions. So I can begin the build. Having done that, the first thing I can do is I can crop the video. So I can wait, I can click on the crop video tool. I can, I'm just gonna mute that. Um, I can crop the video just by pulling at the two handles on either edge. I can then give myself a preview if I want it. I'm going to crop the video. I can then start to add questions. So the ones that I've got available to the free app are multiple choice, free response, and reflective pause. If I pay a subscription, then I can get the others, which allow check and apply, uh, skip a segment, link to a website, fill in a blank, and a polling service. So we're going to add a multiple uh, a free response. So you just choose where you want that to happen. So if we just drag that along, we can then enter in our question, and you can see we can add. There we go. So that's my question, but you can see I've got the ability to add an audio, to insert effects, upload images. Um, there's a variety of different things, and you can see that the question's been added at that particular point in the timeline. So I'm happy with that. I can carry on and I can add a further question. And when I finish, I can click Finish Build and save and I can share it either via the link or with the iframe there. So there you have it, a really quick and easy way adding interactivity to your, your videos. It's also possible to add it to Google Classroom as well. So I hope you found that useful. If you like the video please remember to share it and subscribe to the channel and join me again soon. Thank